let's design some German tanks. Um, in this video I will build the German tanks um, most historically correct. Um, in the beginning you get some very good designs for the, the Panzer um, 2 and the, 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 the Panzer 1, but you don't use them, them in the game. If you um, researched um, these two ch chassis and you make the treaty with the, um, the Soviets, you get uh, designs for the Panzer 3 and the Panzer 4. Um, <laughs> this one um the idea is the panzer four three uh, or, or uh, the panzer the germans called them um, the panzers in the uh, second world war tanks or panzerkampfwagen um translated in english something like armor fighting vehicle um the panzer two or three had a um, um, task to fight other tanks, the, for, for this reason the, this gun is correct, but the, late, in later war the, the gun was, was too small. And the Panzer Mark IV, or the, the Panzer Kampfwagen IV, uh, had a task to fight um, infantry and supported the, the tanks. And then this gun is... Um, is also correct so you get two correct models the germans use the um welded armor um gas gasoline engines um yes that's and radios are very important for german tanks and the uh, um big turrets so we jetzt let's design the punts um the panzer uh, five the the panther we need a proof. It's debatable. You can use um, medium chassis or um, heavy chassis, but let's use the medium chassis. We need a big turret. We need a gasoline engine. We need a welded armor. Um, this looks correct. And we need a big, 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 big Improved highway velocity gun. And we need radio. And we need a um, machine gun. And um, all German tanks have sloped armor. But um, if you see a Panther, 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 they have more sloped armor. For example, this is a little bit sloped. They're sloped. But. Uh, Panther have more. Nah. This is the the Jagd Panther, the hunting Panther, but there is, must be a normal version. Ah. Panther two. This is a little bit stupid in the game that they don't find the correct models. Um, um, I never I complain uh, very uh, too much about this. Mm, panther, 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 panther. There's no panther. Okay, Panther. That's a Panther. Panzer 5. Panther. Now we can let's build the, the Tiger tank. We need a heavy chassis. Um, we can use the improved for the tiger and for the, the advanced for the king tiger. Mm 
Oh, but I don't find it. Ah, there's the proof. Let's see this look like a tiger. Tiger also. This turret is um. Look, um. It looked it um. Uh, it looked like a tiger turret. We have a heavy uh, no. A heavy armament. You can debate it which which one high velocity. Not uh, but one of the heavy cannons. The um, cannon of from the tiger was not much better than than for the panther, because the panther had a much longer barrel than the tiger. The tiger have a higher caliber. The armor we need a gasoline engine. We need this. We need special. Machine gun and of course a radio. Um, tiger, 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 tiger. This is a tiger. This is the king tiger or Tiger Ausführung B, the one was not a Tiger 2, this was a, it's a, a, a completely different vehicle, a completely different tank, but the Germans called this um, Ausführung 2 or pa Tiger um, B, um, is, it, is a completely different vehicle, but they, the, um, they called it uh, like it's just another variant. So, that's the Tiger. Let's build the King Tiger. King Tiger. Um, heavy armament. Um, high velocity gun. It depends a little bit. The big, uh, no. the big turret, of course. The wielded armor. Little bit speed. <laughs> I don't do, do change the speed of the other vehicles, but let's see it here. Um, speed is uh, in re reality the, the vehicles was much faster than 80, 80 um, kmh, but um, in reality they, they do not always drive, so make it a little bit slower. Um, I think eight. Uh, six, 20, 16 kilometers was the their speed, so they were very slow. Need radio, and this tank um have um sloped armor. You see, well all German tanks have sloped armor, but this uh, have more. You see, it. The front. Um, yes, that's the King Tiger. Um, and now let's build some special tanks. For example, um, the Jagd Tiger. We need a um, heavy turret. Fixed. And the gun, the Jagd Tiger, have a um, 120 mm gun. Mm, but uh, we can't. We, but if you be correct, oh, we can use the. Um, <laughs> That's new, um, because we can use the, the super heavy gun now, and in the early versions of this is correct because the the mouse tank have this gun uh, planned and the jagd tiger, the the hunting tiger have planned um, had this gun too, and in the earlier versions of the game this don't work. So now we can build a correct um, hunting tiger hunting tiger. Of course, um, radio, sloped armor, more piercing, probably, and of course, the machine gun. And now we have a hunting tiger, Jagd Tiger. Um, another very uh, 
that's, uh, but they don't build much of this uh, Jagd Gigant. The most German vehicle, most built German vehicle in the Second World War was the Sturmgeschütz um, assault gun in, in English. Um, Sturm means something like a storm. In, you can use it for the weather, but it also means some kind of attack, a Sturm angriff, a frontal assault or something. And then the Nazis use this word, word um, very often, Sturmgewehr, Sturmabteilung, um, Sturmgeschütz, and a lot of, um, they, they like this. <laughs> um, let's build a Sturmgeschütz. Um, the chassis was the chassis from the uh, Panzer III. Mm. Change the turret. We need a fixed turret. Um, it's Stuck in German. Sturmgeschütz. And um, the earlier versions have the um, was um, designed or planned to be an infantry support vehicle or something you can also use it as an artillery piece and later this vehicle um, got the, the, um, for, for early vehicles the anti-infantry weapon is okay and for a Stück E and for later versions they used um, um, anti um, Anti-tank gun. Yes, that's the, the, the wrong picture. Medium. That's all. all this is the um, Ostwind. This is the Wirbelwind. That, that's anti-aircraft tanks. That's an artillery piece. Um, they are all, all named after ugly um, flying insects. Wespe Grille. Hummel, I don't know the English um, words for this. Um, this is um, Brumbeer. This is a Sturmgeschütz. That's um, a, a tank hunter on the Panzer IV chassis. But I never built much of them. That's the best picture. And... properly and um, for gaming purposes don't make much sense to build any tank destroyer um, in against say I uh, in no way because uh, I don't build much tanks to hunt I hope this change somewhere somehow um, not even not uh, um, even Germany don't build a tiger in the normal game that's very uh, sad the Soviets have much more. The Soviets have heavy, heavy, a lot of heavy tanks too. Even before the Germans, the French have heavy tanks. Um, yes, that's, that's sad. Um, in the artillery role, it, it was it could be useful, but you have the um, later better chassis. What you can build? Um, of course, you can build a mouse. Panzerkampfwagen, I think the number was 8 um, for the mouse, super heavy turret, we can build a hunting mouse, oh, no, 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 let's do this, <laughs> um, and heavy armament, and the mouse have a, not a uh, gasoline engine, they have this um, diesel electric engine, or, um, the mouse is a hybrid vehicle, have an um, um, engine and an um, electric uh, motor, so not all um, hybrid vehicles are environment friendly. Of course, um, the mouse have a secondary um, ha um, 75 millimeter gun, so second second turret is not 
exactly correct, but um, they're not um, coaxial um, heavy guns in the game. Special machine gun, of course, and uh, radio, of course, and the uh, slope armor. German tanks for in the beginning of the war was only the um, mostly the light tanks, the Mark One, the Mark Two. They are very weak in compared to some French tanks, but they have radios and, uh, and there are much of them. Uh, uh, there was a lot of them, and they have better communication and something like that, so they can. Um, defeat the better tanks of the enemy. Um, that's too slow. So, let's build an Ferdinand or an elephant. Um, the heavy chassis. They are not on the Tiger chassis, but they have a very similar chassis. Um, one idea for the Tiger um, wasn't approved and they become the Ferdinand or Elephant. Um, like this, Toya? Um, uh, heavy gun, um, fixed structure. Sloped armor, <laughs> a little bit, and they also have this uh, dieses um, diesel electric engine. We call it in German. This picture. Um, I don't know how what this vehicle was. This is no tank destroyer, this is the Sturm Tiger, a heavy mortar on a Tiger chassis, but they only built eight of them. So that there is a very popular vehicle in a lot of games, but in the war they don't do anything. This mortar, I think, was um, developed to hunt submarines or something like that. Um, so, but this is the Ferdinand. And the difference is the Ferdinand was used in the Battle of Kursk, or in the, at the time they don't call it Battle of Kursk. Uh, my grandfather told me they, they never heard the word Kursk, they, they, they referred to it as um, Panzerschlacht in the Don Steppe, tank battle in the step of the Don or something like that. Um, and then they have no mach machine gun, and later they were used in Italy, and then they got a machine gun. But I don't think it meant there was a lot of criticism, because this tank has no machine gun, they can't defend against infantry. If infantry come close enough to a tank to do something bad, the tank will lose anyways. Or if the tank is um, um, separate from the infantry. Even a modern Leopard 2 can be destroyed if they have no infantry protection. Or a lot of Russian tanks are destroyed because they have no infantry to cover them. And this week they have the problem too in the Second World War. So. But a machine gun don't help in this case. Um, so, uh, it's too slow. Yes, we caught this. Um, the Germans use a lot of... Halb Captain Fahrzeuge, half tracks, and we can build some half tracks in the game. We can, of course, build um, these things, but if we research the first half track, we get uh, the half track uh, chassis. Also, with the, the Puma, but they, they are useless in the game. Um, We need a light chassis. And we can change the to no track. We can also build a wheeled tank. Um, we can also build an, a useful Puma. <laughs> or we can build a, a halb and Fahrzeug. The famous SDKFZ. Um, all German vehicles have some 
ist die Kfz Number All Tanks, uh, but I don't know them. Um, ist die Kfz wie ein um, Sonderkraftfahrzeug, um, Special Purpose Vehicle, something like that. And uh, the word um, Kraftfahrzeug is um, even today uh, the official term for a car. For example, it, it means something like a powered vehicle or something. Um, from the, 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 the tax, if you have a car here. Is called Kfz Steuer in German. Um, the wheeled armor. Now we can design, for example, the picture is wrong, of course, because this is no tank anymore. Um, for example, a flamethrower if the cars. SD Kfz. This could all this could useful in the game because it's very cheap. And it's it's a flamethrower. You only you don't use the flamethrower in. Oh, I built this. <laughs> and you don't use the flamethrower in the game because um, the unit make you at uh, um, the templates the uh, <laughs> powerful. Um, but uh, for example, you can't put it here in this. But you. The unit itself don't help much, um, but um, they, they give you a useful bonuses in, in in a lot of areas, especially in fighting um, fortresses um, and navy invasion. Uh, you, you always need a flame tank in your info, in your marine divisions. Yes, well, it's, it's, it's nice. So, well. It's, Five, five, five. Don't increase the values here much, but um, it helps here. You can also it make a heavy armored vehicle and use the armor value, but then you need a very heavy armored vehicle. But for the bonus, this could be a very good idea. This light um, flame, flame vehicle. Can we make it more, much cheaper? And you can also uh, change the values of this. this that's new too in the game. Um, <laughs> more. The cheapest turret. Okay, one man turret is all the is the cheapest. Um, another vehicle was what Germans have in the end in the late war was the Panzerwerfer. They, they don't throw tanks; they throw rockets. Uh, copy. Use um, the track vehicle, small armament, um, and rockets. That's the artillery roll. That's the Panzerwerfer, for example. Or they use uh, this, this this kind of vehicle. Um, you see a lot of it with, with other guns or something like that. Um, <laughs> another idea. Another idea. Another idea. Well, just for fun, let's build a Sturm Tiger. We need um, the, 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 the two heavy chassis. Make a fixed structure. Heavy armament, not have. Um, Youth Taubitzer Radio, of course, sloped and uh, machine gun, and that's the Sturm Tiger. That's it. 
Um, and let's do something uh, special. The first uh, German heavy tank was the Neubaufaser. Oh, this is in the game. And they had, um, you see, this is picture is correct. They have the multi turrets. I like multi turret tanks, but they were useless in the war. Um, they built not uh, built uh, a few of them. They was only used in Norway, I think. But they are very um, not very popular that you don't see them anywhere. Um, another idea, another idea, another idea. No, I think I built the most. You can also build the the, the flak tanks, or not, but um, they are. I don't like them. <laughs> um, yes, if you think this was useful, uh, please like and subscribe. Like or subscribe or do the little do both. Bye bye.